So no expectations. Now, before the play begins, how, how do you prepare the day of? I know you have a matinee today, you have a performance tonight, mm -hmm. you're here this morning. <laughs> when do you relax? When do you, when do, when do you kind of center yourself? Or do you? Uh, well, many years ago, one of the actors I, re I really enjoyed watching on stage was Bill Hutt. Oh, and right. uh, he was so relaxed on stage, it was like that's where he relaxed. And mm. I was really caught by that. And over the years, I've tried to bring that into what I do. So it's not a frightening place, the stage, for me. It's a very friendly place. Mm. And, and um, William Hutt felt the same, or Bill Hutt felt the same. Oh, perhaps he did, but he looked like he He's did. He's gone anyway. now. He won't gone. know we're talking about him. He was a bit feisty, as you know. <laughs> he was. He <laughs> so was. He won't know that we said uh, he enjoyed himself on stage. But so do you think a good actor does? Uh, suddenly, a uh, uh, Nicola Cavendish, or you, uh, you get on stage and it feels right. There are some, I think there are some very good actors who don't relax on stage. Mm. Um, there are probably just as many who do. Right. So. And so when you're playing with somebody who is relaxed on stage or somebody who isn't, do you know oh, the yes. difference? Oh, you yes. do. Yes. Are you worried for them? Because that would take you off, I, I don't know, I don't act, but I'm thinking with that, that would take you off your focus. No, I let them look after themselves. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you do. It, it is much, it, uh -huh. it, it is, when you land with an actor who is at home and has his feet on the stage and looks you in the eye, it is one of the most wonderful things mm. you can do on stage. Mm. It, happens, it, it happens from time to time. Um, and and I, I'm not trying to denigrate any other actors at all, no. but there are the odd ones that you come across where you just go, oh my God, this is, this is amazing it's that we're just here. Mm. And there's no other way to say it. That, that you are there, that the audience is out there, you're, you're speaking loudly enough for them to hear, you're, you're attuned to what's going on all around you, but there's just this comfort level mm. that is quite magical. And you get lost at, at times, or maybe in it so much at times you feel you are Willie Loman? No. No, so it never no. gets there. What if the person was more like you, more like Tom Macbeth? I don't think you ever... In your life, would it be perhaps any I've, different? Well, perhaps I've been in the business too long for that to happen. Mm -hmm. Now, perhaps in a film there may be moments where you sort of totally lose yourself, uh, where you totally lose yourself. Um, but there are only moments, mm -hmm. bit, partly because you don't get a lot of rehearsal in film and you have to just go on the spur of the moment that something pops into your head and, and you go for sure. it. Sure. Um, Stage is much different. It's, it's, you still have to be have a freedom, but it's, it's really well plotted and really well mm -hmm. rehearsed and really well thought out. Uh, right, and I'm sure there's moments on stage you would like to forget, or are there? Oh boy! <laughs> like uh, what? Something really went wrong, backstage, uh, center stage. Well, well, it happens from time to time. There's nothing mm -hmm. you can do. You, you, you can get into a piece where. Uh, a director has hired the best cast they possibly think they can have and you can still have a terrible time. Nothing comes together, nothing fits. Um, mm. You're climbing a mountain every night, there's no joy, mm. there's no fun. Mm -hmm. um, those are the worst. Yeah, it's an energy, <laughs> isn't it? And it, how long does it take you to figure that out? You come together, you read lines, you get the part. Is that how it works? You audition. Often. They or, pick you. Yes. You get picked, or you audition. <laughs> or they picked. don't pick you. <laughs> or they don't. Okay, now you get picked. <laughs> now you're going to be in Death of a Salesman, again. Mm -hmm. uh, when does the magic happen with the, uh, uh, the cast? Uh, it can happen at that first reading, mm -hmm. where you, you, you breathe and you go, ah, we've got some really fine people yeah. here. Uh, and people who have committed to the piece and have done some work. Right. Um, now, if they're already talking about what they're going to be wearing before, <laughs> before we get into it, <laughs> I see. and um, what days we have off, and um, how many hours rehearsals are going to be, then you sort of get the feeling that this might not be mm -hmm. where you want to be. I totally get that. In, in any business you're in, if somebody's worried about how long you're going to spend or how long the meeting is or uh, you know if where their car is parked, you want mm. them to be so immersed in what you're doing, so excited about what you're doing, so into what you're doing, uh, all of that, yeah. not scattered, but present. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Do you have a favorite role? One you played that you oh, would play many. again and again and again? Many, many. Like, uh, um, you could keep learning uh, about Willie Loman forever, I mm. think. Um, uh, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? Oh. Uh, that is the biggest mountain I've ever climbed. Really? Yeah. Uh, Why? Well. That is a play that you become exhausted in, mm. emotionally exhausted. Um, I was 50 when I played it, and I don't think I could do it today. I, it, it, um, I lived on Gatorade, and it was, it was a huge mountain, and it mm. was wonderful to do. It was, mm. um, it's another great American classic. Yes. Um, and, and to think some people really live like that. Oh. <laughs> Maybe more than we know. I, I think I know some. <laughs> I know some too. <laughs> and I think, but it's, but it's not, it doesn't seem to be as constant. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the fighting and the drinking and the yelling and yeah. and all of that. Uh, uh, you live with an actor, mm -hmm. and she's doing Osage yes. County. I hear it's great. This it's, is up at the Stanley, yes, right? Yes, it's fantastic. It's, mm. uh, What's it about? Well, it's kind of like Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf on steroids. Mm, really? Yeah. So a whole family messed the, up. It's a huge family messed up. Oh, great. <laughs> How? So you're doing Willie Loman, you know, no freeing Willie from his demons, and she's doing yeah. really messed up family. And we had a fire in our apartment building on December 27th, and we haven't no. had a master bedroom uh, since then. So no sex. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, we have visiting rights. Oh, Of good. course. But of course. I snore badly. Mm. So we Do you have, have a machine? So, no, I don't. Okay, I'll, no. I'll talk to you about okay. that. Well, so tell me this. You so have a stressful. fire? Well, you have a was, fire yeah, in your apartment? Not in the apartment. It was our, in our building, but our floor connected with their ceiling. Great. So, so are you in the apartment Yeah, we kind of camp. Oh, my. <laughs> because you know when you're trying to work yeah, and absolutely. think and... Karen was opening her show, and, and it was, it's a big... A big, big Mm -hmm. uh, part for her and, and, uh, and oh, the a lot of stress and mm -hmm. I try I work from a different place than she does and uh, um, so it was really tough for her and it, it's not been easy for me because right. I like to look after her too sure and uh, I call her my thoroughbred uh, she needs care and attention that's and, a compliment uh, yes. that's a very nice <laughs> yeah. thing to say my thoroughbred <laughs> instead of my pain in the arse <laughs> you know no that's so great so uh, we've both had uh, quite a uh, quite a january and february i'm yeah. sure but actor married to actor mm -hmm. or with actor mm -hmm. my uh it's not like the movies i'm sure <laughs> <laughs> or is it? Well, I don't know if I'd do it again. <laughs> but, but you're I'm glad in it I, now, boy. It, well, there's no way I want out of it either. So No, I understand. Yeah, I'm, so. sure, I'm glad you said that. Uh, she's been quite wonderful to me and but, for me. Oh, that's good. Or there'd be an Osage County at your house. <laughs> yes. Yes, there would. How nice to see you. It's very nice Thanks to see Thanks for getting up. Here. Thank you. Thanks thank for getting you. up this morning thank and uh, coming in to do this. Right, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Tom Macbeth, Death of a Salesman, until Saturday, March 5th at the Vancouver Playhouse.